The margins of the document are the white areas that frame every page. And the default settings in Microsoft Word are for this margin to be one inch, which is just over two and a half centimeters. A reasonable margin will be anything between two and three centimeters. So the default settings are absolutely fine if your document is going to be viewed entirely electronically. And since your document is going to be printed single sided, you'll need to change the default settings to allow more space on the left hand side for the binding of the document. To change the margins, Go to the layout tab and then you will see the margins option and go right at the bottom to custom margins. For single sided printing, you can leave the top, the bottom and the right margin as they are because that is a suitable margin. However, if you prefer, you can change them. The left hand side margin will need to change to allow extra space for binding. Depending on the type of binding you choose for your printed document, you'll need to allocate additional half centimeter to one centimeter. Thermal binding will require a little bit more because it will use up a lot more of the paper. So when the document is printed inbound, when someone opens to read it, the text should look in the middle of the space that is left. So additional centimeter on the left is required for thermal binding. However, if you're using spiral, ring binding or comb binding, only an additional half centimeter is necessary on the left. I'm going to use spiral binding. So I'm going to increase the left margin to three centimeters. That's additional half centimeter on top of the existing one. And this half centimeter will be used up within the binding and then click OK to confirm all the changes and that's your margin sorted.